You put on your outfit and head to the lab, but not so fast. First, you put on a harness and secure it on industrial cables to move from place to place. This world you live in is turned upside down, with infinite vastness of space beneath your feet. And right above you is a thick solid layer of rock and soil. Legend has it that the world just slowly flipped, and people had to adapt. Think of it like bats in a cave, except people can't fly or grip on the ceiling. Plants feel fine and grow upside down, so there are crops, fruit, and vegetables to feed everyone. And water is extracted from deep, above-ground reservoirs. There's a whole ocean of fresh water right over your head. Your house, like everyone else's, is bolted on the solid surface above you. So, inside, you can easily walk around your house without any of those cables and harnesses. But in the outer world, you'd fall into the depths of the unknown if you weren't secured. And after so many years of hard work, research, and testing, you're finally ready to talk to the Scientific and Engineering Committee about your life's work. You're about to reveal your next greatest inventions that can revolutionize the way people get around. And they won't have to rely on the harness and chains. You're so excited that you almost leave your house without wearing your harness. Whoops! You slip it on and open the front door. Your porch is secured with a railing so that you won't accidentally trip and fall out. And the view is magnificent. There's a panorama of the entire city in front of you. Right at the edge of your porch, you have a secured cable connected to the outside world with a sophisticated networking system. You fasten yourself in and set off. The cable system is hooked on the solid surface and has an automatic railing system like a hanging train. You open a tablet on the docking port of the cable and press which save destination you want to go to, and you're off. The cable lifts you up and moves. Everyone has their personal cable and dock to take them to any destination they want. You make your way to the lab swinging next to other people. Everyone waves at you and greets you. But you woke up quite late and didn't have time to grab breakfast. You open the built-in tablet and tap on the nearest coffee shop. The system makes a detour and parks wherever it can in the docking station. Good thing it's not a rush hour, otherwise there wouldn't have been any spot to land. You strap yourself off and head inside. Everyone here is also cable-less and sitting and having their morning cup of joes. You order your coffee and bagel and take it to go. You got quite used to eating and drinking while being hooked on your cable, traveling across the void of space below you. Just next to it is a hanging train for those who don't feel like being latched on the cable or for those whose cables need repairing. You get back outside and whoosh your way to the lab. Luckily, in this world, there are barely any traffic jams. Each cable network is so unique and mapped out perfectly that it's impossible to get tangled. And the system is designed with special sensors that allow to avoid collisions. So, you can even catch some Z's while traveling. But in your case, you're just eating your bagel and sipping on some coffee. Suddenly, your cable halts. You splash some coffee on your coat and look around, annoyed. You and everyone else around are hanging in midair. Everyone is suspended on their cables, looking around them just like you. Then, the panic begins. This has never happened in history. You check the tablet to see what went wrong, but it's gone haywire. You try to call maintenance, but the networks are jammed. Since you're one of the scientists who came up with this entire system, you're able to override it and swing to the lab. You're zooming past people in shock and showing them with your hands that everything's gonna be okay. You make it to the lab to find out that it's the only thing powered up. You dock yourself out and run to the IT department. But something's off. There seems to be no one around. It looks like it was abandoned and not too long ago. You explore the building and try to reach anyone who might know anything. This place is the most high-tech facility in the area. But nothing. Is this a coincidence? The day you're about to announce your revolutionary invention is exactly the day all the cable networks stop. You've got some detective work to do. You look around, you're trying to find some clues, and see some of the computers deactivated. Normally, they're always on, unless the backup generators are on. You head to the basement, which is technically embedded in the solid surface above, only to find that someone switched the generators off. You and your team built them, so you know it's impossible for the backups to be off unless someone meddled with them. And you just found your first clue. You spot glasses that belong to your coworker. You switch the generators on again and head back to the IT department. You check all the monitors surveilling the city. Nothing seems to be working apart from the lab but you're able to get an eagle-eye view of something. 
Suddenly, you spot some cables moving at the borders of the city. Beyond are miles and miles of uninhabited lands that are inaccessible by cables. But the people dock off to what looks like a flying ship. Wait a minute! That was your idea! You were about to present a prototype of flying vehicles! And that's not all. These mysterious figures appear to be wearing something like rocket shoes with gecko-like grip on the bottom for walking upside down. Project Bat, you call it. They stole your ideas and made a break for it. But why? You run back to your cable and rush towards them. You're speeding through, passing everyone else who are still stuck. You race as fast as the system allows and arrive just in time. The thieves haven't flown away yet. And they turn out to be the committee members you were about to present the idea to. You confront them, and they tell you they shut down the entire city as a distraction so that nobody would chase after them. They wanted to take the first prototype of the future and sell it off to another city. Then they were going to make it look like it had been stolen during the power outage. Having this new technology wouldn't be profitable against the already built system that's generating tons of cash. You try to reason with them to return the prototype and restore the power. But they laugh in your face and refuse. As they trudge aboard the prototype ship, you sigh, shake your head in frustration, and tap the broadcast button on your tablet. Everyone's tablets switch on, including the committee members' ones. You secretly recorded the entire conversation, and now everybody in the city can see and hear it. The shock on the committee's faces turns to horror. Given no choice, they turn themselves in and restore the power. One year later, you get up, get dressed, and take your harness. You look at it for a moment and put it back on the shelf. Then you put on the specialized shoes and head to your personal hover machine to take you to work. After that scandal last year, you were elected head of technologies and now oversee technological development. People love and respect you even more than before. You're flying your way to the office with most of the population adapting to the new way of getting around. Some people still use cables and harnesses, but just as a backup in case something like that incident happens again. A whole new mapping has been integrated and applied to create a highly organized transit network. When you arrive at work, you're rushed to the conference room for the latest big discovery your team has made. You sit in a chair with a huge screen in front of you. You can't really tell what you're seeing. It's completely dark with a spotlight leading the way. Then the beam shines on some junk and other stuff scattered all over. Stuff that belonged in your world but fell down to the void. They've discovered that there's actually land below the vastness of space. The drone lands on the solid surface and lights up to what looks like a cave. The drone has extendable legs like a spider and walks to the mouth of the cave. And on the other side is a whole new world. Trees and plants as far as the eye can see. Everyone in the room celebrates, including yourself. You prepare everyone for the next phase of the mission, getting to this new land.